Well, joining us now is Francine Lewis, who says that she'd be furious if her husband was caught micro-cheating, and Kate Smirthwaite, who says that everybody's guilty of some form of this. I suppose the reason that it, it, gives, it gives people the willies, really, is that it's a gateway, isn't it? In itself, yes. there's nothing really wrong with it, but it's what it might lead to, isn't it? That's what we're talking about. I agree. It's just like we just saw before. Smile on your face. Who are you, who are you messaging? Oh, just the girls. But it's not the girls, is it? Mm -hmm. It's somebody that's putting a smile on their face. Maybe they're bored. Maybe they're not so happy with their partner. And the worst thing is you could be sitting or laying next to your partner actually doing it. And I think that is so disrespectful. So um, do you not expect your partner to ever fancy anyone ever oh, again. Of course, that, that, that's ridiculous, of course, you know, and I'm the first one to say if we're out, oh, she's a beautiful girl, or if we're watching TV. And she, does he, is he allowed to say yes? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but if he did, that's fine. But what I wouldn't, what I would find disrespectful, if we're out and he goes, check her bum out, or look at her, she's got... A, I, I do actually find that a little bit disrespectful, and it's just something I, and this is my opinion, wouldn't put up with. But if you're okay. not happy with him, if you're basically forbidding him to tell you that he finds certain other women attractive, then in a sense you're driving him almost, aren't you, to have this little little private... Well, and this is the thing, isn't it, is that, is that if you believe that your partner has only found you and you only attractive for the last 30, 40 years of your relationship... <laughs> I mean, you're living in cloud cuckoo land, the fact is, we all do. And so if that's the, if that's the lie on which you insist on building your relationship, mm. how sad to build your relationship on a lie. And I... I think I have to disagree with the idea that it will always lead to, you know, mm. bigger and... I didn't say it always would, but, 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 but that's the fear, but isn't it? It's in, my the 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 first move. in my experience, the reality is there's somebody at work you really think is lovely and, and then you go for a drink with them and they're so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you, you, in your head, you've got this fantasy... I heard the voice of experience be, there, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. In your head, you've got this fantasy that they're going to be amazing and because you, because you haven't gone for a drink with them, you've imagined them to be this wonderful person. When you actually sit down with them, you're like, I'm still talking about spreadsheets. But what I find... <laughs> <laughs> what I find, if your partner is going for a drink or having dinner with somebody and they and it's the opposite sex and haven't told you, the first sign is secrets and lies. Mm. To me, that mm. is a fall. Okay, but it's not isn't the same. Not so do you think maybe it, you're more likely to lie? about going for a drink with someone after work. This is, by the way, not personal experience, I'd just like to point out. This is happening <laughs> to our friends. Um, <laughs> no, but it's more likely to lie if the person you're with is so uber jealous and you think, I can't be bothered exactly with it. the row. 100%, I can't be bothered with the fuss. 100%. But if you know that person is uber jealous, then you wouldn't take that risk in the first place. To me, you're taking a risk. You're playing with the chances that your partner will find out and absolutely go All mad. Right, let's talk about texts then. So this isn't actually physical contact in the terms of going out for a, a drink or having a kiss on the cheek. But this is, this is just a text. What if, how would you feel if you, if you saw a text on your, your boyfriend's phone, your husband's phone, that said, let's, let's see, um, thought your hair looked fantastic today, just thought I'd let you know, kiss? That, that, no, that's fine. She's sending that. If, if, he, if I found him saying to that's her... That's what I'm saying. No, no, he oh, sent he it to her. To her. Yeah. In, in, in I fairness, Francine, like my hair did look nuts. fantastic. I mean, he's got a good point, you know. It was <laughs> nice of him to mention it, cos they, they really did a lovely job. I don't, don't want to brag, but it's, it's, really, really... it's a good hair day, what can I say? What I'm saying is I'll text, I like a, I'll text a, a permissible, safe way to flirt. Uh, well, in I think, themselves. I think, I think absolutely. And I think we all have those people who, are, who we... Some people we have a good connection with on text and other people we have a good connection with on person. Mm. And, and some people seem to always love our Facebook posts. And I think all of those things should just be a part of making us feel good about ourselves. You go into the coffee shop and the guy says, oh, extra cream since it's you. And you don't really That's believe that you're going to run away with the guy no. from the yes, coffee no. shop, do yeah. you? Can but I... you're just having a bit of a twinkle. Yeah, but can it I makes say, life fun. A harmless banter or a little bit of flirting when you're out and I don't know about it or he doesn't know about it, I'm the worst. Flirt. But I actually think I would find it harder to forgive if my husband had um, been sending another female messages that showed me he had emotional connections with, I'm missing you, I can't, you know, I, I would love mm. to see you, I'm bored at home, you're so beautiful, you're the most beautiful well, I've ever seen. Well, that does sound quite bad. That is fair. worse I mean, than I'm him having a one-night stand on uh... a drunken night of a stag do. For me, I could not forgive those messages. That's and fascinating. I, that would be so, so flirty, a series of flirty text messages in your book is worse than him getting off with somebody at, on, a, on a drunken night. On a drunken I could. That would be still really bad, but I could maybe forgive it. Oh. But I could never forgive an emotional connection. It feels to me like the, the heart of the problem here is that it's about communication, isn't it? That what you need to do is tell your partner what what you think would be the right rules. If you're like, actually, you know what? I don't mind you going for drinks with colleagues from work, but please tell me who it is. That's right. Fair enough. Just lay out I the don't rules. Think she's 
yes. good about coming forward with stuff like yeah. that. I think <laughs> the rules are very rules. clear. And in in fact, clear from the start. There, there, there are lots of people, for, you know, including me, for whom the rules are. You can go on dates with other people, and that's absolutely you, fine. So absolutely. you would allow him to? Oh, I'm, I'm, I don't do monogamy, so yeah, my my partners and I all date other people, and we have done. What you have for years. like a yeah. uh, open relationship, basically. Yeah. But, yeah. You, but see, the difference. No, no, no. Polyamory. Polygamy is one man and many wives. <laughs> Polyandry, one oh, woman, many husbands. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Polyamory is everybody doing what they. Did you have to work? Did you have to work to get to that understanding? Um, I don't know how I could do it. You definitely need to communicate a lot. But uh, that yeah. said, I think you need to communicate a lot to make monogamy work. Anyway, and indeed, yeah. the evidence suggests that a lot of people doing monogamy are not making it work. And very quickly, because we're out of time, you're things. honestly saying that you don't get jealous when your partner comes home and said he, he's spent the night with Oh, I don't get that at all. You don't oh, get no. jealous at all? No. Why? I mean, I mean, I mean or if I do, me. I'm like... If, 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 if he comes back and says, oh, I went to this amazing restaurant with this amazing woman, blah, 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 then I, usually what I think is, like, oh, that restaurant sounds great. I want... Can we go there next week? Oh, see, that, oh, that, that, me, a... that is... <laughs> I, I don't get I that at all. I think that's crazy, but there you go, that's my opinion. I couldn't have any other way, to be honest with you.